So we are currently printing a part that will allow us to repair our writing one more without having to replace the entire front grill. So this is the current problem. The hood of the lawnmower is broken in several parts and there's no way to attach it to the lawnmower anymore because the parts have been broken. So I went ahead and 3D printed this pieces, one for each side. This one will go here. And we're gonna see if we can balance it there. And this is the one that goes on the other side. And as you can see, they were designed to fit the lawnmower. And then, fit whatever is left from the, um, the hood. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the broken plastic so it doesn't look that bad. And we're gonna attach it to those two bolts on each side, like this. We're gonna make holes with a drill. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach it to this. So as I mentioned before, uh, we're gonna drill holes that match the ones on the mower itself and another one that will go here as you can see match that bolt right there and we did it symmetrically in both support brackets that we 3d printed and we're gonna go ahead and attach them so we have them attached, and as you can see, there's a significant angle. But once it's bolted down, I expect it to secede kind of like this one. Oops. And that will be a bad thing, but it's just uh, plastic snapping. But uh, once it's bolted down to the tractor, it should... Uh, it should hold properly now as you can see it's firm on the metal and what you just heard crack was this plastic which we are going to remove and as you can see you can put pressure on it and it should hold uh, we got to keep in mind that is a tractor hood, so we are not going to be opening and closing very often besides putting gas on the tractor. So let's go ahead and attach it. We put two bolts only and uh, we're going to go ahead and put the remaining of them. And once it's finished, we will uh, post the result. Well, there you have it. That's what it looks like after repaired and after all the bolts are tight. Uh, it's not a pretty job, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty sure there will be some nasty comments on YouTube or whatever, but it's functional. So we got the plastic brackets that were 3D printed holding on the grill off the um, more and here's the other one and here's the more like I said um slamming it shut pulling it open and it seems like it's going to be a durable repair at least it's better than paying over a hundred dollars for the grill uh, 3d printed cost me probably 
five, ten bucks in plastic. Uh, just for reference, that's a hundred percent fill done with a MakerBot C C eighteen. So there is no the it's hundred percent fill plastic. So there's no there's no gaps. There's no holes in that plastic. So it took uh, about fifteen hours to print each piece. And like I said, uh, it's way better than spending a hundred dollars on uh, a whole new grill.